Tell me, what do flowers, a goldfish, and I have in common? Stay tuned for the answer. The flowers, the goldfish, and I are made out of many cells. Therefore, we are known as multicellular organisms. Hi, I'm Lo, and today we are talking about cell structure and cell organization. All organisms are made out of cells. Cells are the basic units of life. Unicellular organisms such as amoeba and paramecium are small and simple organisms. The one and only cell in the organism can carry out all the living processes essential to maintain life. This includes feeding, respiration, reproduction, and excretion. Multicellular organisms consist of many cells. These cells are specialized and do not have to carry out all the living processes. The cells grow, change shape, and differentiate to become specialized cells with specific functions. These are some examples of specialized cells. In humans, the red blood cell, the nerve cell, and the sperm cell. In plants, the palisade mesophyll cell, the root hair cell, and guard cells. Cell organization occurs in multicellular organisms to enable the organisms to carry out the various functions systematically and efficiently. A group of specialized cells with a common structure performing specific function forms a tissue. There are four major types of tissues in the human body. These are epithelial tissues, muscle tissues, connective tissues, and nerve tissues. When different types of tissue group and work together, they form an organ. The heart, for example, is an organ which is composed of the cardiac muscle, blood, nerve tissue and epithelial tissue. They work together to pump blood to all parts of the body. A group of organs working together to perform a common function forms a system. All systems work together to make up an organism. The functions of all systems must be coordinated to work together for the survival of the organism. Let's try a question. Figure 1 shows four levels of cell organization in humans. A. Cells in level 1 undergo process W to become tissue X, named process W. One mark. Cells in level 1 have to differentiate to become specialized cells with a specific function. So the answer for part A is differentiation. Part B. X is smooth muscle. Explain why X is considered a tissue. One mark. X is considered a tissue because it consists of a group of specialized cells with a common structure performing a specific function. Part C. The structure in level 4 is one of the body systems. Name this system. One mark. To name the system, we need to identify the organs found in the diagram. The organs include the mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. All these organs work together to digest and absorb food in the digestive system. So the answer is the digestive system. Let's try another question. Explain the stage of cell organization in the heart. Three marks. First, identify the stage of cell organization of the heart. Then, the different types of tissue groups. And finally, the function. The heart is an organ. It consists of cardiac muscle, blood tissue, nerve tissue, and epithelial tissue. These tissues work together to pump blood all over the body. Biology is easy to understand if you relate it to real life. I'm Lo, and I'll see you in the next episode of SPM Top Tutor Biology.